Hi everyone. Can you guys see me and hear me? Can you please confirm this? Hi Siddharth. Happy New Year to you too. I hope this year brings a lot of joy and happiness in all of your lives. Hi Ratnesh. Hi Pooja. Thank you so much. Happy New Year to you as well. Hi Mrunal. Uh, can you guys see me and hear me? Am I audible and visible? Uh, okay, thank you Ratnesh. Thank you so much. So, uh, it's been a while. It's It's been so long since we interacted and uh, I really apologize. I had so many exams and uh, I had to prepare a lot. So, I could not take the time out to, you know, interact with you guys. I tried as much as possible to interact uh, with you over telegram in your personal messages that you sent me thank you so much thank you so much barani rahul uh, hi anushri hi anirudh uh, thank you so much saurabh yes uh, it has been a while and uh, i hope that this year will bring a lot of happiness in our lives and uh, uh, may we all uh, achieve what we are actually pursuing for so that's why i'm here uh current films has already been and i i think you are asking about the results i'm not quite sure about it but uh, we'll talk about it uh, you know uh, later uh, in this session so uh, let me set a ground here first uh, i wanted to tell you about uh, you know uh, my experiences a lot of you guys were asking that uh, you know you have uh, seen my uh, face too uh, uh, scorecard and obviously I did not perform very well in finance and management and I did really well in the uh, ESI section so uh, a lot of you guys were wondering uh, what went wrong in the finance and management section and I have taken a really uh, deep dive into what kind of questions I was you know attempting in the examination and what where did I miss so I have uh, actually jotted down a few points which I wanted to share with you guys in this lecture and also uh, make you cautious that what things are not to be done for your 2023 attempt and also uh, I will be talking about the uh, you know the strategy the plan for the upcoming 90 days 89 to be exact but yeah so um, uh, I'm going to talk about everything here so uh, I'm going to request you guys to kindly put your questions on hold uh, so that I can you know uh, talk about some of the important things and strategies which are needed to be followed and after that I will switch to this screen and I will you know take all of your queries and I will answer them one by one so please bear with me uh, is that fine with you guys nice logo in the background yes this this yeah, I, I printed it out when, uh, you know, the results of, uh, when the scorecard actually came and uh, I, I have uh, two or three attempts left now uh, till I attain the age of 30, but uh, I am taking this attempt uh, as my last attempt. Uh, I'm actually considering this, obviously, if I'm not going to make it in this attempt, obviously, I, I will be fighting for the next attempts as well, but uh, I am actually creating, you know, uh, an aura in my mind that yes this attempt will be my last attempt so I have to consider it like that and I have to prepare it likewise so that is what I'm actually trying to do here uh, thank you so much everybody so uh, let me make sure that I have opened uh, this thing uh, no I have not I should have prepared uh, you know beforehand so just kindly wait you guys uh, let me just open up the screen and uh, uh, okay uh, so can you guys see me and hear me now I just switched to the, the screen can you guys see me and hear me thank you so much Karan it really means a lot you know uh, since I have not been uh, around for a while, but you guys still appear, you guys, you guys still are there for me and uh, for our interactions. And I'm so grateful and so thankful to you guys. Thank you so much. Okay, so I'm now going to switch the screens and uh, let me just... 
Okay, so uh, yes, uh, also I'm going to talk about some of the important sources. So remember this, uh, some of the sources which I have discovered and I have the access now, which I'm going to use for my preparation. So please make sure that all of these sources are, you know, if you guys are comfortable, I'm not forcing anything, but if you guys are comfortable, you can definitely check those sources out. I have... Uh, really thought about those sources and I have you know uh, taken into consideration all of those things which you know made me uh, not capable to clear the examination in my previous attempt so make all of these things in mind and uh, keep all the points which I'm going to discuss here so for the very beginning I'm, I actually want to talk about the uh, things which I lagged on uh, actually, for my finance and management section, I was good in finance, but management section actually took me back. When I realized, when I saw the previous year paper and when I realized that what kind of uh, questions I had attempted and how I actually attempted them, uh, it made me realize that, yes, I needed to work upon that a lot. So, first of all, management actually is a very, uh, you know, it's a very good subject for you to get good marks in. But unfortunately, because of some issues, I could not get it. And the issues are, first of all, there is the source issue. Okay. The source. Actually, I relied on the IGNU notes. I always recommend IGNU notes. IGNU notes are really good and really well. But uh, IGNU notes are very much segregated, as you have seen. For example, if there is a chapter regarding the organizational behavior, there are about seven to eight chapters regarding the organizational behavior in, uh, you know, in uh, the language of various authors. And you are collecting the data from one source, then from next source, then from next source. <clears throat> so it kind of creates, you know, a segregated approach of learning. I actually... Uh, was making notes uh, for a while but after that because I thought that it was a time wastage I stopped making notes and after that you know I kind of revised from uh, segregated uh, you know IGNU notes so that was not a quite a good approach to you know go into plus <clears throat> IGNU notes are very good for the conceptual uh, understanding but for the applica application part you obviously need a source which actually gives you the deeper dive into the concept using the examples for example uh, uh, the book which has been recommended a lot that is lm prasad uh, it has been uh, known by various aspirants obviously the selected aspirants as well that in that particular book there are several examples which are explained after the um, uh, the concepts and because of that people are able to you know uh, apply all the concepts into that particular example and understand carefully everything but in the management paper since the options are very close i got really confused whether to mark this option or that option at that point of time when i was attempting i was not you know comprehending the fact that these are very similar and i was just uh, taking the first thing that is coming to my mind i was not analyzing things and sometimes i was analyzing so much uh, for example if th there are three options that are you know almost on the similar lines i was getting so uh, you know overthinking i was so overthinking in that particular question that i was you know uh, attempting the one way uh, the the one option which is incorrect because in management there are a few keywords which you need to actually consider uh, some of the keywords are very essential keywords are there which actually segregate one concept from the other which are you know approximately 80 to 85 percent similar but that particular keyword will be able to you know uh, segregate it from each other so that is why keywords are very important and for that application is very important of any concept and for that i think i should have gone for the lm prasad book rather than the ignu notes because ignu notes are good but there is not much application based examples or questions in that particular uh, source so I actually lagged there second thing was in the uh, I also scored not very well in the English section and I analyzed why because at this point of time 600 words were there to um, actually write an essay and I was you know very much comfortable in 400 words or 450 words but when I saw the 600 words I was just stretching it out you know, uh, most of you guys obviously are on the telegram and you guys might have seen that uh, 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 there is a query posted or the RTI posted to the RBI, whether the, uh, whether the paper of the English descriptive or the ESI or management descriptive uh, or the finance descriptive are checked manually or through an AI system. So they answered manually. Definitely they, uh, they actually check 
the papers manually because they are not only checking the grammatical mistakes or the word limit they are also checking the structure of the essay the everything that you have written so i think uh, in the 600 words essay i was just stretching it out you know making the word limit more um, uh, you know uh, at par with the level that was actually required that is why i think the quality was not that good that is why i i would have scored less in the essay and uh, also uh, for the management section uh, <clears throat> there are some there were some descriptive questions which i was you know uh, some of the similar kind of concepts are there but uh, uh, you know i i was not able to uh, segregate each and everything like like I already said, I was not able to mention all of those keywords which are very, very essential. So that is why I think I got less marks in the management. In the objective paper, I did uh, attempt the finance section correctly. But the management section, which I attempted incorrectly, you know, pulled my marks away. Uh, in the uh, Obviously, there is a negative marking. So that is why I was not able to, you know, uh, get good marks in the finance and management section. So what I wanted to tell you guys is, the, is that uh, you have to make sure that the sources that you are using, whether IGNU notes or whether any kind of source, make sure that you are familiar with very much good examples and very much application-based questions. Uh, or any kind of application based examples you don't need to search for the questions you just need to see the example that in particular example suppose a transformational leadership or the transactional leadership or uh, the utilitarian uh, thing of the uh, uh, sorry uh, uh, that ethics ethics portion if anything is basically explained through an example if you are able to understand that example if you are able to understand the application base of that particular concept then you will be good to go but if you are not familiar with the application based uh, examples of things you will not be able to segregate whether you know the one question one option is correct or the second is correct because ibps always puts the uh, options in such a manner that all of those seem you know correct in one way or the other so that is why i wanted to talk about these things first let me make sure that you guys are there uh, I'm so sorry, I'm not able to see your questions right now. Uh, guys, I want to, uh, I've, I already told you that please uh, put your questions on hold and uh, after I'm done with what I try, uh, what I'm actually trying to say, I will definitely uh, take up all your questions and uh, I will answer them. Uh, I will talk about each and everything. I will talk about CGL as well. Yes, I have taken CGL. So I will talk about each and everything. So let me make sure that um, I have... Uh, good pens and all. Okay, yes. So uh, these are the some of the important things which I think uh, you guys should, uh, you know, uh, know while uh, keeping all of these things in mind. And yes, you can see that I have the guidely MCQs. You know that there is a Telegram channel. I'm going to talk about each and everything here because at the end of the day, what matters is that what kind of sources you actually need to, you know, follow while uh, doing your uh, whole preparation scenario. And I'm going to talk about each and everything here. Now, the 89 days are left only. And uh, you have to be very much considerate about the finishing of the phase two of your RBI grade B examination and for that I urge you to finish it by February the last date of February 28th February because at the end of the day the whole month of March for you would be only consumed for the phase one examination you guys know phase one examination is you know it's not a piece of cake definitely you have to work really very hard to get good marks in the phase one examination so if you're not very much familiar with the concepts of finance of, of quant reasoning english or uh, general awareness definitely you have to put at least one month of preparation before the actual examination in your uh, preparation phase because that is the main thing that is deciding whether you will be attempting your mains or not. And you have to finish your main syllabus and at least complete two revision sessions of your main session till the end of February. Because it's very much essential between the uh, prelims and the mains examination, I guess there are only 35 days left. So I'm urging you guys to please keep all of those things in mind and start preparing with the phase two first and simultaneously if you're not familiar with the phase one you can do you can dedicate one or two hours for the quant reasoning or english or whatever kind of concept you are unfamiliar with and uh, you can definitely attempt all of those things so first of all let me talk about the 
yeah here it is uh, first of all let me talk about these sections you obviously know quant reasoning english general awareness uh, economic and social issues finance and management you have to be so much consistent in general awareness that you must be revising and reading and revising constantly throughout your days of preparation there will be new information every day and you have to revise and read the old information as well since the examination is expected to be on the 1st of april of the preliminary phase you should start with the september september is the extended stretch definitely december to march will be extremely important but i am talking about september because you also have to give the phase 2 examination and your general awareness preparation is going in hand with the phase 1 and the phase 2 aspects you cannot just say that you are only preparing for the phase 1 ga and after that you will be preparing for the phase 2 ga no because economic and social issues section you have seen the previous year papers it is not easy so because of that you have to be very much capable very much sure that whatever you are reading you are reading in the manner that the phase 1 and 2 are comprehensively covered together so ga i have already talked about the sources for ga for ga you have to go uh, for the affairs cloud daily or some people are comfortable with the monthly compilation i am not comfortable with the monthly compilation because uh, it actually is very much you know cumbersome for me to cover but if you are comfortable with monthly definitely you can take the print out of the monthly compilations and you can highlight those or make notes out of it whatever your your ways of preparation are so affairs cloud daily then your uh, pib daily very very important pib is the bible for every rbi grade p aspirant because esi section most of the questions are picked from pib then comes your government schemes try to cover government schemes from the uh, month of uh, august 2022 try to cover it from august 2022 whatever the schemes are there in the current affairs i'm talking about the schemes that are mentioned in the current affairs and uh, uh, mostly the government schemes if you are covering it through ministry websites or uh, you know some of the compilations definitely try to cover at least five government schemes or at least 5 uh, to 7 government schemes daily because you uh, know that in the previous paper almost uh, uh, there are there were so many questions the maximum amount of questions in the phase 1 as well as in phase 2 were from the government scheme so you cannot skip this portion it's very very important the next thing you need to talk about is the reports important reports financial stability report is out for the december very important annual report will be out next year uh, economic survey and budget will be out next year so you have to cover them while they are out and uh, you have to be so much specific about the things because in the previous papers obviously you have seen for the descriptive portion also these are very important for the objective paper also these are very important so you have to be very much considerate about the reports as well talking about the other reports and in indices for example there is a ranks uh, uh, india got this rank in this report this rank in this report all of those reports and in indices mostly they are covered in affairs cloud or they may be covered in some of the newspapers for example business standard or live mint uh, most of the news might as well have been covered in these newspapers as well so if you are an avid reader of newspaper definitely it will really help you uh, then after that yes reports are done government schemes are done uh, pib affairs cloud and uh, newspapers i have already talked about if you guys want to study the newspapers definitely you can go for it editorial sections are very much you know helpful not only in your uh, interview phase but also in the descriptive section as well so uh, let's talk about the rbi website RBI website. In RBI website, you need to talk about the press releases. You need to talk about the uh, RBI notifications, which are very very important, and uh, some of the basic things which are there in Words and News, the very first page of the RBI website. So I have made a specific video how to check out the RBI website. You can definitely check it out. I have talked about each and everything there. Then. Uh, most of your finance news will be covered either in affairs cloud or in the newspaper which you are actually following and esi section news mostly in affairs cloud and pib especially pib very very important and uh, please note that whenever you are uh, studying the general awareness section from the affairs cloud not everything is important you need to Uh, jot out the things which are important and you need to skip the important uh, skip the things which are not important for example there is a small company let's say um 
there is a small company which you uh, the name of which you have never heard it is actually collaborating or it is actually uh, signing an agreement with another small company which uh, the name of which you have never heard and uh, they are signing a, a contract regarding the uh, green gener uh, green energy generation or let's say financing some of the things not very important because the companies are not that important you have never heard of them but some of the bigger companies for example let's say hdfc limited and fgs hdfc bank are actually you know uh, amalgamating or co uh, collaborating on something or let's say uh, reliance is doing something with the uh, let's say some of the biggest industries like whatsapp or google so these are the things which are needed to be you know uh, put more emphasis on because these are known companies these are big companies and definitely a question might be asked uh, in the examination so you need to jot out the things which are important and the things which are not and you can definitely get a hold of those things if you are familiar with the previous year questions previous year questions so this is the important thing that you need to remember and uh, yes so your daily emphasis while covering the phase one and phase two for these 89 days especially from january and february january to february you you need to cover the syllabus of phase two static and you need to actually make at least two revisions of phase two static start with the management section because management section is totally static in nature and you need to only understand the concepts and uh, uh, apply them basically uh, using some of the examples so it can be covered after that move on to the finance section and after that move on to the esi section in esi section i've already told you not every chapter is important there are some of the important chapters like poverty alleviation employment generation uh, health education uh, urbanization uh, then your uh, uh, yeah, growth factors gdp gnp nnp uh, and uh, then your uh, um, uh, you know the macroeconomic side of things all are important but not everything that is mentioned in the syllabus is important so you need to pick out the important things and you need to cover them and after that you need to revise them at least one reading and after that the second readings the second revision very very important cover this till february and after that when march arrives you have to stick to the phase one you have to move on to the phase one that is the quant reasoning in english and ga you will be covering from january uh, till uh, you know april uh, i'm talking about the coverage or the preparation the coverage of the ga which you need to cover is from the september september to the uh, march for the phase 1 i am just stretching till september december to march is important but from september you will be you know on a safer side and it is very much important you for you to cover and uh, uh, the sources for ga affairs cloud i already told you and uh, pib already told you and the next thing which is very important which i actually encountered while i was preparing for the ibps po mains examination and now as well for the um, uh, sbi po mains examination is the uh, thunderstorm this guidely mcqs they have the telegram channel and they are putting thunderstorm of each and every day in which they have also uh, taken out the article from the newspaper of that particular news so i found it very much you know useful for the examination because the source is also given uh, the question in the form of, uh, form of mcq is also easier for you, uh, for you to remember and to get the reference of the whole important news you can definitely check out the article which they have given so it is very important source which you can follow my strategy is to follow this kind of source for the revision i'm not actually keeping it as a primary source for my preparation but i am keeping it as a revision yes i am covered with the september month now i will revise that news using the guidely mcqs so that is what i am actually trying to do for myself and i will urge you guys to do this as well and uh, in the month of march you have to move on to the ga then quant reasoning and english only and if you think that in some uh, you have a little bit of time and you don't need much uh, emphasis on the phase one definitely you can revise the phase two uh, chapters uh, any of the chapter any of the subject in your uh, time which you have made so that is what i wanted to say uh, how you can actually utilize the time uh, for uh, your, your preparation i'm so sorry if i'm not actually answering your questions i hope that you guys understood what i was trying to say here if you have any doubts now i will be able to uh, you know answer all of your queries now let me just change this to this can you guys see me and hear me you can please confirm this
ओके विश न्यूज़पेपर टू फॉलो ज्योति यू कैन फॉलो द I actually follow the live mint, but I follow it only for the editorial sections. So the most of the news I actually cover from the Affairs Cloud or PIB, and sometimes I see whether uh, you know uh, if I'm just uh, you know uh, going through uh, gi uh, giving a glance to the newspaper as a whole. So if I find anything important, I actually uh, you know read that particular news. Ram Manohar G is the re reason. Uh, you can definitely uh, you know make good marks in GA because uh, in GA uh, the main thing is to remember. A uh, main thing to remember is that previous year questions are important. Get to know about the GA because GA of RBI is not equivalent to the GA of IBPS PO mains or SBI PO mains. GA of RBI is totally different now. Phase two kind of questions are asked in phase one, so you have to prepare likewise. Can I skip puzzles to focus more on miscellaneous part? a uh, cut off and reasoning ramit you can do that if you are very uh, well versed with the critical reasoning because critical reasoning is very important from the examination point of view but if you are not familiar with that at all you have to practice uh, puzzles more and puzzles in the puzzles which you will be encountering at least two puzzles will be doable it will be easier for you to do so at least try to do those puzzles and you can definitely do the miscellaneous questions but remember make yourself well versed with the critical reasoning portion should i learn typing for phase 2 uh, no rishab uh, i also did not learn typing for phase 2 i uh, actually uh, you know uh, i was in college i was an engineer so i was very much familiar with the typing so uh, i also don't type like you know uh, i i'm just uh, looking into the screen and just typing without looking into the typewriter no i always look at the typewriter but um, the speed actually improves as you practice you don't need to um, uh, do much of the practicing you i have told some of the important ways uh, which you can actually incorporate to improve your typing speed like you know take out an editorial section and read that editorial section and after reading it try to jot down a summary of that uh, you know without looking into uh, the editorial section again uh, on your own and uh, using your typewriter uh, using your uh, uh, keyboard so that is how you can you know constantly improve your typing you don't need to learn typing for it uh, you can just improve it uh, there is no need for that hi anik uh, mera tabiyat bekar chal raha hai uh, itna piche hu samajh nahi aa raha hai koi baat nahi anik uh, uh, i was not also well uh, but uh, you know you have to uh, gather the strength and the courage to do it uh, make yourself uh, feel comfortable first and after that the moment you are uh, comfortable aap apni preparation shuru kar dijiye uh, because abhi time bhi kam hai aur aapko likewise apna plan banana shuru kar dijiye apne aap ko comfortable feel uh, rakhte hue aapko preparation karni hai bahut zyada stress bhi mat lijiyega abhi kafi time hai aap kar sakte ho other exam like i uh, yes world data uh, i took the ibps mains this time and uh, i also took the sbi po prelims now and uh, i have taken some of the examinations i took cgl i took nhb uh, i took uh, uh, there are uh, so many examinations that i actually took which i <laughs> i'm not actually remembering right now which exams you are appearing other than rbi grade b i i guess mohit i have uh, talked about this um, i'm uh, i have attempted the ibps po examination i have attempted the sbi po examination which are the basic you know the financial ones which i actually wanted to be in and the nhp mocks and sources which help you sayanti uh, mocks i would say um, uh, i am actually recently finding out somebody over the telegram was uh, talking about this that uh, olive board and practice mock have launched their rbi grade b courses along with the uh, a mock test and i don't know why because uh, their test series were so good and um, uh, you know uh, they were also uh, they were expensive but they were kind of affordable uh, because you know you were just focusing more on the test side of things but now I, you have to purchase the course of uh, let's say 2999 or 3999 from these uh, sites in order to get the test series and i did not know that i was just uh, i actually took the test series for the sbi po and ibps po of olive board which is very good but um, for the rbi also i was going to take the olive board and practice mock but both of them have launched their courses so i have to make a research on that that what kind of uh, test series would be helpful if you guys are uh, no uh, you actually know what kind of, what other test series are needed to be followed please let us know down in the comment section or here as well so that i would also know and other aspirants would also know 
How many months of PIB would cover for phase two? Start from September. It will be enough. Uh, Vishal, start from September. कोई बात नहीं आप अक्टूबर से कर लीजिए सितंबर का आप ग्लांस देख लीजिएगा कहीं से आपको समरी मिल जाती है कहीं से छोटे करंट अफेयर्स के आपको कुछ पॉकेट पीडीएफ या कुछ इस तरीके से मिल जाता है आप सितंबर का वो जरूर देख लीजिएगा बिकॉज इट विल बी गुड मैनेजमेंट बुक से किया है या एथिक्स सेक्शन बुक में है ओके यस एथिक्स सेक्शन की बात करें तो इफ यू आर इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द एथिक्स सेक्शन एथिक्स के लिए समबरी वॉज सजेस्टिंग पी एन घोष विच इज अ बुक फॉर दी स्पेशली फॉर द एथिक्स बिजनेस एथिक्स एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द सिलेबस विल बी देयर इन द बुक आई हैव नॉट चेक द बुक आउट बट आई विल हैव टू चेक द बुक आउट बिकॉज एट द एंड ऑफ द डे यू नीड टू फॉलो सम ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट सोर्सेज ऑल्सो आई हैव द एक्सेस टू द एडियोटैप कोर्स एंड द क्रैक डेट बी कोर्स नाउ आई एक्चुअली uh purchase these courses and uh, i am going to incorporate these courses for my finance and management section especially because i needed some external guidance because i wanted to improve the score as well that is why i actually chose this and uh, um i have now the access to the both of these courses so i will be able to you know uh, consider all of the aspects which are given in the courses as well so if you are uh, you know uh, uh getting into the courses you can definitely check out those materials and uh, forget about the books because they have actually uh, concised important things that, which are important from the examination point of view and if you're not comfortable you can definitely go for the books the bn ghosh book for the ethics portion and the lm prasad book for the management portion okay uh सेबी ग्रेडे में मेडिकल में ईयर टेस्ट की जरूरत होती है विकास आई एम नॉट फेमिलियर विद दिस you know you have to check it out from the people who are actually uh, you know you can see the interviews of the people who have been selected for the sebi grade a so i am not actually familiar with this okay um Sir, you said you are following thunderstorm. Is it useful for phase two? Definitely, uh, SS. It is useful, and uh, uh, in thunderstorm, they are actually giving you the article, the newspaper article, which is uh, given. You can skip the news regarding the sports for the phase two, but if the economic news or the finance news is there, you can definitely cover it from thunderstorm. Very important. Uh, okay. Uh, do you hear and review of ministries in syllabus? will be sufficient uh year end review of ministry yes uh, you can read those because some of the important data is given in the year end review and uh, try to incorporate with the uh, pib which you are reading constantly because some of the news uh, you know can be you know uh, you have to see the trends as well sometimes the questions regarding the statement based questions regarding the trends can also come so in that perspective year end review plus the pib would be really helpful to you a uh, practice objective question for phase 2 i uh, hi devanshu uh, i am not actually familiar with the phase 2 objective question series of any courses i have not actually gone there uh, so i cannot tell you about it once i am done with the uh, edutap and the uh, crack grade b uh, familiarity of uh, mcqs i will definitely uh, tell you about it how we assess our descriptive answers for phase 2 yes aniket that's a very good question and uh, i wanted to talk about this platform for a while now uh, i've already talked about it uh, with uh, most of my uh, followers uh, on telegram as well uh, so there is a channel called we learn here uh, in that particular channel uh, that is basically the channel started by my, one of my seniors uh, in college and uh, he attempted the rbi grade b examination and uh, Uh, he missed the final cut off by just 0.5 marks and uh, uh, he actually uh, made this channel and he posted uh, the descriptive questions uh, in this channel daily and after that uh, every aspirant who is following their channel uh, they wrote the answer to that question and uh, sent it to the uh, group that they have made we discuss here i will put the link of the channel and the group down in the description box after the video after the lecture and uh, you guys can definitely check that channel out because sir uh, his name is atul sir uh, he was my senior in college he actually puts out the important pib articles daily as well he puts out important uh, business standard articles as well and uh, he puts uh, the important um, 
descriptive questions as well and he has also made kind of a timetable which you can follow for your preparation for your revision as well he has been doing it for a while now so now he's in the uh, now the channel is uh, in the revision phase so if you guys are done with the syllabus or even if you're not you can definitely check that strategy also that what kind of chapters daily you can uh, do or weekly you can do and after that you can attempt the questions which he is asking over his channel i will put the link in the description it is a telegram channel a must follow channel i must say okay uh क्रिटिकल रीजनिंग के सोर्स देखिए आप कैट की कोई भी प्लेलिस्ट फॉलो कर सकते हैं ओवर यूट्यूब क्रिटिकल रीजनिंग के लिए और uh, आपको क्वेश्चन uh, प्रैक्टिस करने हैं बाय वॉचिंग यूट्यूब वीडियोज और साथ में यूट्यूब वीडियोज ऑफ अड्डा और ऑलिव बोर्ड और एनी अदर चैनल स्मार्ट कीडा और uh, आपको कोई भी बुक जैसे वर्बल uh, रीजनिंग uh, की कोई भी बुक है आर एस अग्रवाल की बुक है वहां से आप प्रैक्टिस कर सकते हो How many questions uh, have you attempted in SBI PO prelims? I have attempted 79 questions in SBI PO prelims. I have attempted full questions in English and uh, 28 questions in reasoning and 21 in maths. Uh, maths was a little bit lengthier uh, on the lengthier side. My uh, my shift was fourth shift on 19th, so uh, it was on a lengthier side. I uh, I could have you know attempted well, but I was uh, stuck in one di and I could not even attempt total number of questions of that. That particular di i attempted only 3 so yeah that's why um, i could have uh, done better but yeah i think uh, i'm preparing for mains now let's see what happens uh, do you follow business standard and live mint both i only follow live mint i don't follow business standard i sometimes see business standard articles from the channel which i told you about we learn here and uh, it is very fruitful practicing descriptive answer writing i could not touch the word limit i can write the word limit in this because my speed is not good okay uh for the word limits uh i was also in the yes it was also one of the reasons i was also in the uh i i had seen some of the previous interviews of selected candidates they were just emphasizing on how word limit is important but in this attempt in this attempt when i uh, saw the uh, aspirants who are actually selected they said that word limit you don't need to follow 600 out of 600 words you can also answer your question in 500 word or let's say 475 words but your content should be crisp and clear uh, you you will be awarded with good amount of marks if you even attempt with that kind of strategy so even if you are not able to attempt uh, uh, even if you are not able to reach uh, the word limit of 600 let's say try to reach at least 500 because um, definitely you need to explain things in a manner which is easily understandable and comprehensible to the examiner as well so for that try to use some of the important uh, words in a descriptive manner but try to reach in the 500 words and to increase speed i already told that even if you read an article on the newspaper or let's say an editorial on the newspaper try to jot down the summary or let's say the precy of that particular article on your computer uh, without looking into it uh, on your own speed try, uh, if you are doing this again and again and again uh, daily you will definitely improve your speed are 89 days sufficient for rbi you see these are if you are very much well versed with your strategy if you are not then you have to make a strategy very much you know comfortable with your reading schedule and all my sources are same which you followed in 2022 if any change please let us know deepak there is not much change except that i am now having the access of edutap and crack grade b courses and uh, my sources for esi will be the same which i actually followed for my preparation in 2022 i'm just following uh, these two sources for my finance and management preparation so that is why I, that is the only addition that i have done and the thunderstorm that is it uh okay uh hi sapnil uh, practicing sources for content reasoning for content reasoning i have already talked about this in a video made for the rbi grade b phase 1 preparation you can definitely check that video out i have talked about everything in that video the same sources i am following for myself as well should i study a topic by topic complete the syllabus and then do revision or should i change my approach uh you can do that aniket that is the generalized approach which everybody follows i also follow the same thing i read the chapter and then i read the another chapter and the another chapter and after i'm done with the whole uh, syllabus of the book uh, or the uh, subject i start reading again i start revising again from the first chapter then second and third uh, you can also do that you are doing first chapter then if you are doing the second chapter try to revise the first simultaneously you can also do that some people are comfortable with that that is definitely okay 
uh, okay, uh, reliable source for critical reasoning, I think I answered it. Uh, uh, should I uh, study a subject topic by topic? Okay, I answered this as well. Have you purchased means mock? No, I haven't purchased. I uh, have the access to the uh, EduTab course in the Crack Grade B now. So I guess the mains mocks will be those only. But I have not attempted those. So I don't know the level right now. Uh, once I attempt them, I will definitely let you know. Uh, should I study the subject topic? Okay. Uh, CGL prelim score. Uh, I actually attempted 93 in uh, CGL prelims. And uh, uh, all of them are correct. <laughs> I saw the um, this... Um, answer sheet which actually they release so yes prelims I, I guess if the cutoff is uh, well down enough uh, I will be able to make it <clears throat> I'm working in it and utilizing maximum 7 hours daily how to start and target goal <clears throat> okay Prasanna for working uh, I know it will be really very difficult but uh, you have to uh, you know kind of dedicate your uh, uh, daily and uh, um, a daily routine and your weekend routine. Uh, there is actually a strategy which has been created over the Telegram channel by Crack Grade B, uh, in which they have jotted down the strategy for the working and the non-working students. You can check that out. They, it, it's in their channel, and uh, you can check out what kind of things you can do over a day uh, after your shift of seven hours, and uh, what kind of th uh, things you can do over weekends. You can definitely check that out because that will be re really helpful to you because they have mentioned that this chapter is needed to be done in this day or uh, if you are uh, in the weekends you have to do this kind of thing so that will be really helpful to you because you have to ma you maximum utilize uh, your weekends to the maximum because that is the only thing that you have for the preparation for your revision section for everything the weekdays you can dedicate to the GA portion and uh, uh, mostly to the uh, daily coverage of the chapters of ESI or reason, uh, ESI finance or management. But your weekends are very, very important and it will be hectic. I'm not going to lie, but you have to follow it uh, if you really want to you know, do this. Are you giving SIDBI and SEBI? SIDBI I cannot give. My age exceeded by six months and SEBI I'm not quite sure if I'm able to do it because the syllabus of RBI and SEBI are a bit different so i'm going to focus more on rbi this time <clears throat> how to cover reports because there are so many reports world bank imf so much of confusion okay <coughs> i'm sorry <laughs> i'm a little under the weather okay uh, so reports whatever kind of report you are encountering over uh, affairs cloud which is uh, remotely related to your syllabus, you have to do it from a first cloud. Okay, try to cover the Indian aspect of things. What is the India's rank? What is the India's situation in that particular report? How is India performing with respect to Asia or how is India performing with respect to the world? Those kind of aspects you need to cover. Those kind of aspects you need to put more emphasis on. <clears throat> Talking about the uh, uh, IMF reports or the World Bank reports, some of the newspapers will be able to cover that. If you have access to any courses, you can definitely check those out also from those sources. But if you are not well versed with the sources, or if you don't have any access, uh, you have to, uh, you know, very much find out the free uh, PDFs that uh, some of the institutions provide regarding that report. And after that, check out the... Um, Newspaper articles, you can write down the name of the report and write the Hindu or write live mint or write, uh, write uh, business standard and check out the articles of those newspapers and check what kind of data is given in that because mostly IVPS asks the questions from the newspapers basically. So if it is in the news, it is in the newspaper article, it is important. So that is how you can cover the major reports as well. You don't need to go into the IMF website and you need to download the report and cover the whole report. That is not feasible as well. So you need to follow the newspaper sources for the important information that is given and you need to follow that. You need to remember that. Olive Board and Practice Mark release their test just before the exam. If the, if I don't remember. I purchased Olive Board and pre Practice Mock way before the prelims, if I'm not wrong. But if they do, yes, that, that will be, you know, very good if they do because courses are really very expensive and not everyone can, uh, every, everyone can afford. Okay. Uh, a first cloud for phase one 
are you reading selectively or every single thing subhajit uh, subhajit i am reading selectively i'm not reading everything i told already that not everything is important only the important things uh, which you deduce from the previous year question papers are important since i have been giving this examination for so long i am get, getting familiar and also i'm working with the edut app as well i you guys already know so that is how also i'm uh, getting to know the important things and not important things so that is making it easier but they are also jotting down from the previous year question papers so there is no not much difference you analyze the previous year question papers and you get to know that what is important and what is not important very 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 crucial thing to do quantum cat ke arithmetic section hi banana hai na yes anik quantum cat ka arithmetic section वो भी आपका जो लेवल टू के कुछ क्वेश्चंस होते हैं वो आप प्रैक्टिस कर लीजिएगा बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट होंगे डोंट गो इनटू द डेसिमल क्वेश्चंस फॉर एग्जांपल इफ यू आर कैलकुलेटिंग इन सम आंसर इन डेसिमल इज कमिंग आउट नो जस्ट गेट टू नो द कांसेप्ट गेट टू नो दैट दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन इज आंसर्ड और इज सॉल्वड यूजिंग दिस मेथड एंड आफ्टर दैट जस्ट राइट डाउन द मेथड एंड यू विल बी गुड टू गो आप उस मेथड को रिवाइज कीजिए और आप जो अपने मॉक टेस्ट देते हैं या आप जो जहां से भी आप कर रहे हो वहां से आप उसको कर सकते हो डोंट वरी You can crack RBI in three months. Uh, starting your preparation today, Aditya. Uh, you have to be very much specific regarding what you are preparing, how you are preparing, and you will be, uh, you know, uh, able to attempt. But it will be a really very hectic task for you to do. Uh, but you have to be very much focused. You you cannot, uh, you know, do that. You cannot procrastinate at all. Uh, that uh, yes, I am done with this, and now I will cover it. Let's say day or uh, tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. You cannot skip any day. नंबर सीरीज और नंबर सिस्टम के लिए कौन से क्वेश्चन सोर्स यूज करते हैं फॉर प्रैक्टिस नंबर सीरीज और नंबर सिस्टम यू कैन डू इट बेसिक्स आप अड्डा से कर सकते हो या ऑलिव बोर्ड से कर सकते हो एंड आफ्टर दैट यू यू हैव टू फॉलो दी मेन्स क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द वीडियोज अड्डा यूट्यूब वीडियोज और दलिव बोर्ड यूट्यूब वीडियोज यू कैन डू दी मेन्स प्रैक्टिस ऑफ सम ऑफ द क्वेश्चन लाइक दो सीरीज दे रखे हैं एक में फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स है एक में फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स नहीं है फर्स्ट सीरीज का सीक्वेंस फॉलो करके यू डू सेकंड सीरीज एंड आफ्टर दैट यू हैव टू सॉल्व द आंसर्स सो यू हैव टू प्रैक्टिस इट थ्रू द वीडियोस और मॉक्स यहीं पे आपको मिल पाएंगे कोई स्पेसिफिक बुक आप लेते हो तो वहां पे मोस्टली क्वेश्चंस ऐसे नहीं दे रखे होंगे अगर आप पुरानी बुक्स फॉलो करते हो तो I am starting RBI preparation now. How can I cover all the static portions? I am going for the 2024. Vivek, you have a lot of time. You can start with the basic sources without going into any courses first. Start with the basic forces, sources. I already talked about every source in my previous videos. You can check those videos out very very comprehensively. And after that, jot down the important uh, uh, the sources which I have mentioned and uh, start preparing. First of all, take the printout of the syllabus and take the printout of the previous year questions. Uh, beforehand and after getting to know about the syllabus and the questions which are asked you you can definitely start your preparation by keeping in mind what kind of question was asked or what kind of questions could be asked so that is how you can do it all the sources i have mentioned in various videos uh, my latest videos of rbi grade b phase 1 and phase 2 preparation are really very uh, will be really fruitful for you to get to know about the sources so you should definitely check those out are you practicing uh, descriptive daily which kind of topics you are picking up daily uh, viresh i am not practicing descriptive daily and it is a very good reminder i have to now uh, but for preparing uh, preparing descriptive i already told you the uh, the telegram channel we answer here or uh, not we answer here uh, we learn here that telegram channel is really very very good you have to check it out and uh, they put the questions uh, you know uh, now in the weekly manner but they had put the questions from the daily uh, sequence they also have uh, you know uh, put the strategy of preparing the daily strategy of preparing and the daily strategy of revision also so you can definitely check that out and you can definitely attempt those questions those questions are framed in such a manner that your whole notes are kind of prepared so it is a really very good channel <clears throat> strategy for cgl i'm shocked okay uh, for cgl i did nothing uh, special uh, for banking aspirant obviously the quant is uh, very very easier um, some of the questions regarding the uh, arithmetic or the uh, Uh, arithmetic section or the uh, let's say your geometry section or uh, uh, trigonometric uh, section i was you know way back familiar when i was in the engineering or let's say way back when i studied it so that kind of really helped i did not practice it at all I, i'm kind of worried for the mains because how would i be able to prepare for mains because mains quantitative aptitude is really very difficult for cgl so yeah and also the gs portion because i'm not very much familiar with history geography uh, the things which i have left 
the seven questions which I left was in GA because uh, I was not able to do the questions regarding the history or geography or polity, all of those things. So I was not very much familiar with those. So yeah, for uh, CGL, I will be uh, talking about in some other videos. I don't think it, it will be appropriate for me to talk about it right now. Uh, okay. How to cover phase two without book because I have no money. Uh, without book, uh, Anjali, I am not... Uh, uh, books you have to follow there are some unethical ways to do it because there are some books which are uh, uh, over the telegram uh, which are freely available but uh, i am not uh, in a position to uh, suggest anything like that you uh, books are really very important to cover uh, everything from because uh, in books you can definitely highlight you can definitely make notes out of it very much important for esi also i have suggested sanjeev verma which is a very good book uh, for you to cover so i think you have to find out one way or the other to cover from books and uh, yeah uh, sir, I am a beginner. Can you clarify particularly phase two? How many months of reports and schemes are important? Start with September. I already talked about it. September, say up. Uh, you can go to se from September till uh, the end of the preparation phase. That is your uh, uh, March and also f next April because uh, your examination will be in May now uh, for the mains and uh, that you can definitely go for. Okay. Uh, I'm so sorry if I have missed any questions because these questions are so... I'm just picking it out. If I'm missing anything, please uh, don't feel like I'm just skipping your uh, questions. I'm not doing that. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm a beginner. Do you make daily notes with the first cloud? I don't make daily notes. I highlight it. This is my pen uh, uh, from which I was just writing before. Uh, I just highlight the important information in the PDF itself and after that I read only the highlighted information. Uh, is it, e it is easier than IBPS or not? Uh, it is a little bit difficult than IBPS uh, uh, because uh, the section, the GA section which actually comes in the examination is not very much easier on the easier side. So you have to keep uh, this particular thing in mind. Ethics source, uh, if you have any uh, course material, you can uh, definitely check it out, Sanket. But if you have not, uh, I have heard about the BN Ghosh book. I am not, uh, I have not read it. I'm planning to do so. And uh, once I'm done with the uh, syllabus checking and all the book contents, I will be talking about this book. BN Ghosh is very important for the ethics portion because you will be finding most of the syllabus in the book. Uh, that is what I've been told. Following any editorials or regular basis for RBI, where to study ESI starting from ethics source. Uh, hi, uh, Venuthurla, if I'm not pronouncing your name wrong, I'm really very sorry. Uh, any editorials on a regular basis? Uh, I'm just checking out whatever Live Mint is actually publishing over there or uh, newspaper and uh, nothing, if it is related to the syllabus, for example, if uh, any agriculture related editorial comes, any bank related editorial comes, any financial system related editorial comes, let's say uh, CPI, WPI, inflation related editorial comes, then I read it. But if it is not related to the syllabus, for example, any political uh, topic comes, then I don't read it. And uh, for ESI static, I've already talked about the sources of ESI. <clears throat> Personally, I have followed the NCRT books and after that I followed the Sanjeev K. Verma, uh, Sanjeev Verma book very very important and very good book to prepare from and uh, yes uh, that is how i have prepared for the uh, esi static and ethics source i have already told uh, bn khosh book and uh, if you have any source uh, any course purchased you can definitely follow those do you use any current affairs quiz app for revision uh, rajat uh, current uh, the app application of affairs cloud have the daily mcq app also quiz app also uh, uh, not the app, they have a section in which you can attempt the daily quizzes as well. So I try to revise my affairs cloud by attempting those quizzes daily. So that is what I am uh, I am actually doing. But now I'm also trying to follow the uh, thunderstorm, the guidely thunderstorm, which I talked about. Uh, okay. Uh, CGL, GS Source of Polity, History, Geography, Science. Uh, Lucent. Lucent book is 
I have heard it is like a Bible for every SSC CGL aspirant and it is I have seen I have prepared for CGL before and there I only studied the uh, uh, Lucent book for the GS and it is really very good so you can definitely follow it. Thank you so much Anik. thank you so much. Um, Okay, how to practice new type of questions in reasoning because RBA we asked new type of question every year? Remember the new types of questions are the ones which are easier in nature. You only need to have the patience of reading those questions. Sometimes we see the question and sometimes we think, oh my God, this is a different kind of question. How would I be able to attempt it? Please stay calm and just read it out. It will be one of the easiest question that you encounter. That is my personal experience and I'm telling it from experience, be it the area of reasoning or English or general awareness or even the quantitative aptitude. The new type of question in quantitative aptitude is the easiest type of question they put. So that is why, first of all, you need to read it. And after that, if you have read it, <clears throat> definitely if it is new, it will be able, it will be available in the uh, mock tests which you will be purchasing so don't worry about it you will be finding a similar kind of question in the mock test as well just try to practice it from there as well and also you can see the videos over uh, youtube from adda or you or olive board or whatever kind of source you are following you can definitely practice it out because since these are new kind of questions no book will be able to you know give those kind of questions to you okay how to practice new uh, okay Edit app materials really worth the hype with sources to go for phase two. Am I, uh, I'm a working candidate. Very difficult to go through different sources. Please guide it regarding phase two. Uh, Sanju, uh, edit app materials. I have only checked out the management right now. And uh, from my personal experience, it is good because the lectures are very comprehensive and the material uh, which I'm actually finding is really very comprehensive. I'm also following the crack grade me and that material is also very good. That is uh, in a compact manner. You know, they have also uh, reduced the PDF so that you will be able to, you know, easily comprehend and revise as well. Both these materials are very much in my personal experience, uh, but I am actually finding it is good. It is good. You will be able to understand the concept also. And there are so many examples which they have given from which you can definitely, you know, uh, uh, get the grasp of the concepts which you are reading. So for management section, which I, I have till now checked from EduTab, it has been really very well. So uh, for phase two sources, I already discussed in the beginning of this uh, video. And also I have made uh, some other video videos as well. My latest video regarding the phase two preparation, you can definitely check it out. And uh, for phase two preparation, yes, uh, I've already talked about each and everything regarding that. So please check it out. And uh, uh, still, if you have any doubt, you can definitely reach us over the Telegram channel or the Telegram group. Macroeconomics ke kuch part mein micro ka concept bhi lagta hai. Soch raha ke us portions ko uda dun. Macro mein micro ka concept sirf demand and supply ke related hi lagega. Aapko aur zyada micro ke concept nahi lagenge. Jaise aapko sales law nahi lagana hai. Aapko uh, micro ke aur zyada concepts nahi lagana hai. Income disparity mein yes, there are some of the micro concepts. But you will be definitely able to understand even if you understand the income disparity concept of the macro economics on a macro level as well. So aapko bahut zyada detail mein jane ki zarurat nahi hai. But important chapters jo hai. Poverty mein bhi kai bar micro ke concepts lag sakte hai. Aur aapko wo karna hi hai kyunki poverty important hai to because of the importance of some of the uh, chapters or some of the topics you cannot skip totally so remember these kind of things okay how is olive board esi and fm current i have no idea regarding the olive board for the esi and fm current i am not able to answer this i'm so sorry <coughs> Okay, so uh, it was a different uh, incident, um, which I'm going to talk about later. So, uh, hi, Ritham, I I've seen your question. Uh, uh, I was, you know, in a, uh, in a dilemma whether to uh, get the access to, uh, whether to pick up the course uh, from one source or the other. So, I contacted both these uh, uh, institutions and I uh, was, you know, talking about each and everything. And after that, uh, uh, when I found out that, uh, you know, they, they were really uh, very much helpful to, uh, you know, about their courses and about all of those things. And I had heard so much about them. After purchasing the one course, I got the access to the next course as well. So it was kind of a whim uh, that I was able to get the access. I, I will talk about all of these things later. Uh, difference is that, uh, you know, uh, 
uh, for the comprehensive approach, you can uh, opt the edit app and for the compacted approach, you can uh, check out the crack grade B because it is in much compact manner and uh, uh, edit app is in much comprehensive manner. So both things are good. There is no much in their own ways. They are really very good in their own ways. How did you purchase that pen? Uh, so uh, this is I have already talked about. This is a uh, uh, Wacom tablet which I use uh, for writing, for making lectures and for my own notes, sometimes for highlighting. Uh, you can definitely check it out over Amazon or Flipkart. Wacom 1 CTL 422, 472. I'll put the link in the description as well for this. Clear the cutoff of reasoning section. You cannot totally skip puzzles. Some of the easier puzzles will be there. So you can definitely follow those. And after that, you can move on to the miscellaneous section. But remember to cover the critical reasoning. Very, very important. And also you have to improve the accuracy in the critical reasoning. Sorry, because if you're not accurate in the critical reasoning, definitely it will cost you a huge amount of loss. And you can move further, you know, backwards from the cutoff, which is not the intent. So, yeah. Uh, any preparation strategy for working aspirants, sir? Uh, I already talked about it. There is, there has been made a made up, there has been a made up strategy uh, for the working aspirants by Crack Grade B in their Telegram channel. You can see that, and you can see the daily targets which you can do to prepare. Uh, you know, uh, daily for your preparation, and after that, you have to consume more of your weekends because weekends are very important for the working aspirants. Uh, very descriptive. Uh, hi, Rahul. Thank you so much. Uh, yes, GA was descriptive. Uh, GA, uh, the only thing that you can do for GA is the, uh, is the uh, you know, extent to which you can dive into. For example, newspapers are really very important. I have understood it because IBPS is at the level in which it wants to maintain a level of people who are taking coaching and people who are not taking coaching. So it wants to benefit the people who are not taking coaching but are the avid reader of newspapers. So that is why even a smaller detail in one of the newspapers is mentioned which might not be mentioned in some other newspaper is basically asked in the examination sometimes. So because of that, uh, newspapers are playing a very important role. If you can skim through one, definitely you can do that and affairs cloud will be good for you and PIB. PIB is really very good for phase one and phase two both because PIB, it directly picks out the question from PIB and puts it in your examination. So you can definitely check it out for your phase one as well as phase two. State scheme, co-lending partnerships, co-lending partnerships, uh, insurance products, insurance companies, bank insurance partnerships are not important from affairs cloud. No, state schemes are not important. Co-lending partnerships are important. Insurance products are sometimes important because you don't know how they can ask because they have previously asked these kind of questions in paper. Bank insurance partnerships, if the bank is important, if the insurance company is important, then it is important. <clears throat> you have to also segregate the important things. I told you, if it is a bigger company, if it is a known company, if it is a known bank, definitely it's important. If it is not a known bank, then it is not important. If it's a bigger acquisition, it's if it's a bigger sharing of stakes, it is important. If it is a smaller stake acquisition of, let's say, 0.9% or 10%, not important. So they, that kind of, you know, uh, that kind of segregating of material of what is important or what is not, previous year questions will be able to help in this particular scenario. Mock test, uh, Olive Board, Practice Mock, Smart Kina, these are very important. Let's see if they launch their mock test series before the examination. Who knows? Okay, so I guess I have consumed a whole lot of time now. Uh, uh, it's been more than an hour, so I will be taking these questions as well. Please, guys, uh, you know, it's uh, you, ha you also have to prepare as well. Uh, I do too. So, yeah. Thank you so much, Sanju. I will try. I will try my best. <laughs> it's been a while and I uh, I was not able to, you know, uh, be available here. Okay. Uh, how Will be many articles PIB for six months at the end. How to manage, read and get remembered. Please explain. Uh, hi, Rakesh. I was just reading about the, uh, I guess it was the Finman technique of revision or something like that. Uh, I am not quite sure. So uh, in which you guys might have as well heard that you make, uh, you know, three sections in your table. One, two, three. In your table, in your study table. One, two, three. The first section, the number one, you put all the books which you need to revise daily. On the uh, second section, on the two section of the table, you need to put the books which you revise 
uh, which you need to revise after let's say two days or three days and for the third section you need to put the books which you need to revise let's say after one week or after two weeks so first of all your first stack will be completely full because you need to revise daily 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 and after that you feel comfortable that yes i have re revised it daily i have to just revise it after a few days you just pick that book from section one to section two after that just move on to like that so that kind of technique i was also trying to do and it really helps second is the pomodoro technique i've also talked about it over the telegram channel before study for 45 minutes and take a break for 15 minutes or let's say 15 is too much time take a break for let's say 10 minutes or 5 minutes take a break for 5 minutes after that start uh, reading for 45 minutes then take a break for 5 minutes then complete this cycle till your whole subject is uh, read or whole topic is read or revised or remembered so these two techniques are helping me out and you can definitely do it try to read everything which you are studying in a repetitive approach so that everything is retained in your mind because first of all you studied very hard and you cleared the concept very very carefully and after that if you have not revised all that hard work will be in vain so you have to revise very very carefully Anuj Jindal course, uh, Anusha, I have not the access of uh, this course, so I cannot talk anything about it. Uh, I've heard some very good uh, opinions regarding this course, but I have not the access to this course. I cannot talk anything regarding this. Exam pressure, keyboard sounds. Okay, okay. Yes, yes, yes. I know what you're talking about, Krishna. My speed is not extremely good, but there are some people who are attempting the mains examination with me and they write in the speed of lightning. And it's very much scary. It actually takes you, you know, aback from what you are able to, what you are actually trying to write. When I was framing the question, uh, when I was uh, attempting the mains examination, I was uh, framing what, how I would, uh, how, how I would be writing over the rough paper. You always do that. Uh, you uh, check out the question, you make the framing that yes, first of all, I will write this, then write this, then write this, and after that you start typing. <coughs> I'm sorry, but some aspirants were so fast that they was, they were just start uh, they were just typing after just seeing the question and their typing speed was so fast that i was so flustered at first but then i calmed myself down that no this is their paper and the thing which i'm going to write here is mine which is going to make me you know uh, go further into the selection process not their sounds not their uh, writing or not anything like that so focus more on you definitely uh, uh, it takes you you know a back sometimes that he, wow his typing is very much faster than mine or he might be writing good than mine doesn't matter you also have prepared you also have prepared well you have to jot down your thoughts into that particular answer so focus more on that rather than putting your focus into the other sounds i know it happens a lot it happens to me as well uh, PIB 247, I have not checked out these videos from uh, Anuj Jindal sir, I cannot say that Trisha, but uh, uh, if I do, I will definitely uh, tell you about these, uh, but PIB definitely you need to, you know, check out on your own, because once you read that, the language is very simple, first of all, there is no complications in that, language is really very simple of PIB, so it is very easily understandable, so try to read that, once you are getting a, a hold of yourself that yes, this is the topic, yes, it's done, it's done in minutes, you know, uh, at first, it will take you a little bit of time that yes, uh, I'm taking half an hour, I'm taking one hour or I'm taking one and a half hour. After that, when you are familiar, you will definitely be reducing your time by reading it on your own rather than watching the lectures for which you have to wait, for which you have to see, you know, that kind of thing. It can save time. Working aspirant, which paid course should I prefer for grade B? Phase 2 in English only. Okay. Uh, uh, Diksha, you can definitely check out uh, the EduTab or Crack Grade B. Both of these courses are fine. If you think that you have a lesser time to prepare and more to prepare, you can definitely, for a compacted form, you can go for Crack Grade B. But if you think that conceptual clarity or uh, you can con clear your concepts from Crack Grade B as well, but for a comprehensive approach, for a comprehensive clarity, you can move on to the uh, EduTab because it is also really very good. I've only checked out the management sections of both these courses, so I'm not actually right now a good person to talk about these courses but after the complete review of the course i will definitely talk about these two so please bear with me regarding this thank you so much mahalakshmi thank you so much happy new year to you too thank you so much thank you so much really really humbled and honored 
can contact for serious studies in groups. Yes, 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 you can definitely. Serious uh, aspirants are uh, basically because I have seen so many groups uh, regarding RBA grade B. Even the uh, selected candidates have opened their groups and there are some non-serious aspirants who are just creating a havoc over there. So that is of no use because at the end of the day, we are actually here to share. We are actually here to, you know, make our preparation better in one way or the other. So that is why you need to be very much, you know, uh, uh, careful regarding everything. Okay. Hi, Victory Arena. Oh my God. I, I follow your channel uh, over Telegram. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you so much. All the very best to you too. Thank you so much. We hope, we definitely do. Thank you so much. I really check out this channel as well. They also have some of the compilations regarding the schemes, uh, Victory Arena channel over the Telegram. I uh, follow their channel as well over Telegram. And some of the important information regarding the newspaper, uh, regarding the news, or let's say the uh, PIB quizzes or the government uh, schemes quizzes, or sometimes let's say uh, the various examinations that are coming out, I definitely check out from this channel as well. Thank you so much for being here. And thank you so much for following me. I did not know that. Okay. Uh, uh, easy for present variable hota hai. Two variables. One or two variables. Government schemes ministry wise only cover which are in news. First of all, cover which are in news, then move on to the ministry wise. Because mostly, uh, if you see the previous year paper as well, 2022. The schemes were in news. Jaljeevan Vision was in news. Other schemes which were asked were in news. So the schemes which are in news are basically asked generally. After that, you can move on to the ministry wise uh, if some schemes are not covered in the news and which are important. You know, you can open up simultaneously, right? If you're uh, studying the news which is from the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment, just read that news uh, from uh, the news article itself and after that move on to the compilation or let's say the ministry website and read the uh, scheme from that and after that check out whether this scheme has been covered uh, beforehand or not just cover it simultaneously uh, no worries about it <clears throat> okay uh, no yogita it's not late uh, strategize well and you will be able to be through is cracked be in english medium sir uh, i have not seen the videos i have only seen the uh, uh, the sheets which they have, uh, I have no idea. I will talk about it in over the Telegram channel once I see that. Okay, please anyone enter a good paid course in English. Okay, uh, comprehensively cover sports obituaries. How comprehensively you cover sports obituary important your authors from Affairs Cloud? Okay, uh, so uh, yes, this specific portion. There are some of the compilations of Affairs Cloud for the so uh, for the exams, let's say if the IBPS PO is coming, there will be, uh, you know, a compilation for the IBPS PO as well. So they will make a table for you for the obituary, a table for you for the sports, a table for you for, uh, you know, let's say important days. They have also made the section wise tables in their application as well regarding the books, the sports, the days, important days, books and authors, everything. So you can cover from that, uh, you know, from the table. Uh, in the tabular form, it is very easier for you to remember. But in the uh, other than the table form, the descriptive ones, which are not very, you know, very much easier for you to remember. So you can follow those things. Everything is given in the FS Cloud application. You need to check it out. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Anik. Okay, so I think uh, it's the time for uh, end this session uh, because it has been a lot. How much time should we devote to quant to clear cutoff for a beginner? If you're a beginner, you have no idea about the course, uh, about the quantitative aptitude. You will need time. You will need to clear concepts. At least daily four hours will be good for you because you need to understand the concept and also practice the question simultaneously. So at least four hours will be enough for you. Thank you so much, everybody. So I'm going to end this session on a very good note that happy new year to you guys. And thank you so much for being here. I don't know what I can do without you guys because I have not been around. And since you guys showed up and um, still you guys showed up and, uh, you know, yeah, I'm really very grateful, very, very grateful because um, I have talked to some of the most amazing people who are preparing for this examination. This channel, as this channel has grown, many selected candidates, many, uh, you know, bigger channels or bigger uh, uh, established uh, 
uh, channels and bigger established people in this field they are actually contacting me and approaching me and they are actually guiding me they are asking me if i need any help i was contacted with so many uh, selected rbi candidates uh, already recruited rbi candidates that uh, they would love to you know uh, guide me for uh, uh, preparation and i'm so honored and so thankful that through this channel only they got to know about me and uh, um, they are you know uh, really uh, making me very very humbled because at the end of the day what really matters is that it's not only about uh, you know clearing a particular exam and just then just moving on with your life it's also about you know making a community which have built here which we have built here and uh, uh, i really really cannot uh, share Uh, express my gratitude in th- just these mere words because it is so much thank you so much for being here and i'm going to end this session right here right now and uh, all the very best to you guys i hope that i would be able to make a few videos because preparation time is on now and i will be very serious for preparation and i hope you guys will be too and i whenever i will find time i will definitely make videos on this channel thank you so much for being here have a great day